All right, Bernoulli's principles um, states that as the speed of a fluid increases, then the pressure of that fluid will decrease. And the first thing we should talk about is exactly what is meant by the word fluid. And fluid, you should know, is either a liquid, liquid, or a gas. Okay. So, for our purposes, basically, um, water and air. Okay? So, looking at uh, the definition, uh, the first one, as the speed of the fluid increases, so as the speed goes up, the pressure of the fluid decreases, so pressure goes down. And the opposite will also be true. <clears throat> as the speed of the fluid decreases, the pressure will then increase. Okay, so now, what exactly does all of this mean? Now, let's see if we can clear some of this up. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, um, you'll you you will have probably have seen uh, some demonstrations in the classroom um, on Bernoulli's principle. If I didn't show you any yet, or if you missed it, uh, go to YouTube and you'll see a bunch. There's a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, one that is used a lot is maybe a straw and a ping pong ball. I'll make it a real small one, I guess. And um, <clears throat> uh, the, the wind from the straw is going to go around the ping pong, ping pong ball like that. I'll just draw one line. All right, and so the speed of the air, the speed of that fluid, is increasing, all right, because you're forcing that air through and it's going fast, which means that the pressure will then decrease. And so along these lines, that's the air, that's the fluid, and the pressure of that fluid is going to be low. And so what that means is then there's high pressure on the outside, and that will be pushing in. And that pressure pushes and forces in. So what you'll find <clears throat> is that the ping pong ball stays in place, and not only can it stay, stay in place, um, if you use maybe like a hair dryer, then you can actually tilt it. Instead of it being straight up and down, you can tilt it, maybe not that far, but you can tilt it to the side, and um, the ping pong ball will still be suspended in the air there because um, it's trapped within these flows of air. Um, the same is true for a liquid, and it works the same, same way. If we take... Um, a water faucet. Let's take a water faucet, like something like that. And um, and the way to do this is to maybe take a. I'll use a different color. Uh, take a ping pong ball, attach it to a string, like that, and you swing it into the flow of water. So you swing it in here into this flow of water and I didn't draw the water yet uh, um, the water comes down and just like in the other example the water goes around the ping pong ball and it traps it because the fluid is going fast the speed is high and the pressure is low so the low pressure is, is of the liquid itself okay and then out here we have a high pressure, and so this high pressure pushes on the low pressure. The high pressure then pushes on the low pressure, and um, here the low pressure would be on both sides of the sphere. All right. Um, not sure if you quite understand that. Uh, another example that might be easier would be one that they have in the book a lot of times. Um, let's see. Let's draw it like this, <clears throat> and I'll draw it the way the book draws it because they did it, they did it well, and I don't want to get into uh, some of the the difficulties of boy that's really slanted. <laughs> Let's not make it so severe. Um, something like that maybe. All right, I guess that's better. All right, <clears throat> so this is a wing of a plane. 
And so what you get is that the air is going to come, get deflected downward, and that's going to slow it down. Here, it's going to flow, whoops, it'll flow right over the top, and this will be faster. Faster. Just trust me on this one. And this is going to be slower. All right, so the speed, speed is up. So the pressure is low. So here we have a low pressure. Here we have the speed is low and so the pressure is high. And so here we have a high pressure. So when we have a high pressure below the wing and a low pressure above the wing, what do we get? We get lift. The pressure pushes up and the wing rises into the sky. <clears throat> and it is important that it is on an angle, right? Um, you know, if you can do it flat. Okay, that, that, that's uh, the Wright brothers' wings are like that. And it, it wouldn't really get this effect, but I don't want to confuse you. So um, we'll, we'll forget about that. All right, so this is Bernoulli's Principles. Right? The faster fluid, faster fluid will have a low pressure. The slower fluid will have a high pressure. And it's one of the explanations, one of the two explanations of how um, an airplane wing will rise. All right.